Gucci is one of the most popular sunglass collections in the world. That goes without saying. And today I'm joined by Natalie from Gucci, who you might recognise from our previous Gucci showcase earlier in the year. Hello. Which was a fabulous success, and I think Natalie did an amazing job of presenting that collection to you. Um, Natalie's back with us to present this relatively small additional collection of Gucci sunglasses that has just been released. Yep. You're the first to see them, and if you order them from us, you'll be the first to have them. So what we do is, how our seasons work, we'll have a a main spring-summer collection that drops at the start of the year, and then we feel that it's really important to add some new pieces into the collection. So we have what we call like a high summer drop, which only launched three weeks ago, like you say, Robert, so it's brand, brand new. It is smaller, but there's some really key pieces in here some beautiful statement sunglasses as well which I'm going to take you through so there's a few different parts of this collection so we've got a new sustainable range in our eyewear which we'll come on to and then we've got something that's called the essential selection so it's still got that beautiful Gucci branding but a little bit more understated a little bit more refined and then we've got the Gucci script collection so that's that real bold out there Gucci girl that wants Gucci called out in the temple. It's all about the Gucci. And then we've still got some of the metal pieces, some of the aviators that we've seen from the first drop. So it is a little bit smaller, um, but still as beautiful and as, still as Gucci as ever. Well, I'm a huge fan of anything that's ethical or eco-friendly. So can we start with that element of this collection? We can, yes. Yeah. So Tell me which ones they are. It's this beautiful yellow, Check orange, yeah. I mean, it is. It's amazing. It is very Gucci. It's very oversized. The branding is a little bit more subtle, and it comes in three different colorways. So you've got, obviously, this, this is a little bit more out there. It's a little bit more outrageous. Definitely the craziest colorway, isn't it? Actually, the I'm are thinking a bit more it might actually definitely. go with my outfit. I love this color, by the way. It's so yeah. different, and it's not just the color. It's the marble effect of the acetate as well, yeah. which really makes it play with the light. You've got a real texture to that frame. Yeah, so as, as I was saying, this comes in three colourways. So you've got this sort of yellowy orange, you've got the black. So still as big and bold, but a little bit more subtle in the black and the Havana. But what makes this special is it's bioacetate. So at Gucci, you know, we've really started to think about the materials that we're using, the amount of water, and obviously anything to do with the environment, it's, it's, it's such a hot topic at the moment. So as it should be. Yeah, we have to be really mindful of how we manufacture and how we make things. So, so yeah, it's only a small collection, but it is part of the sustainable collection. You've got the rivets from the Gold Decor series as well. Yeah. Very subtle Gucci logo on the side. It's quite a small script compared to the thickness of the arm. You've still got something that wants something that's quite big and bold, but more subtle on the branding. I think the frame stands alone, doesn't it? Yeah. Regardless of the branding, that is just such a beautiful piece of eyewear. Yeah. What I also love with that is the lenses, because they're kind of a semi semi-tinted gradient lens they're not too dark they're not a full sunglass yeah. for sure but they're also not clear yeah. they're kind of in in between yeah. great for just wearing out and about going inside and outside it's yeah. quite a versatile tint maybe not one for really sunny holidays I don't think but one for general use it's perfect yeah and actually they're not I suppose wearing them as well sorry to go to the practical side but they're not too heavy either to wear? no surprises Even though, me. they yeah. look heavy don't they? and that sort of thing I was thinking how are people going to see this? They look big and they look heavy, but actually, no, they're not too heavy. They're very comfortable. Cool. Sorry to be practical, but I think <laughs> practical points are important as well, Robert. I agree. So, yeah. What shall we look at next? So, we've spoken about the branding, how on a more of our sustainable range, it's a little bit more understated, mm-hmm. it's a little bit more refined. So, here we're definitely not going for refined or understated. We're going for big and bold, mm. so just so you can see. And this is in a beautiful Havana. And again, we can get this in the black colourway. Yeah, that Gucci is really called out on that temple. It's big and it's bold. And then you've got this beautiful rim detailing. Absolutely. I love how the gold element there around the lens rim ties in with the gold logo. It just pairs everything together. Yeah. I think the tortoise shell, we chose that tortoise shell for this video because it's just a bit softer than a black. Sometimes a full black frame, when it's as big and chunky as that, it can be too dark and too overbearing. Yeah. This just softens it slightly and I think makes it a lot more wearable. Yeah. I think that is a very wearable sunglass. 
despite being very impactful. But for me, I mean, I love this. It's all about being called out. I'm wearing Gucci. It's making a statement. But you're right. I mean, being blonde, I really love the Havana. Cool shape. Matches yeah. well with the colour yeah. and the gold detailing. And I think it's only fair that I try on some sunglasses now because I'm feeling a bit left out. But speaking of gold, I quite like this gold aviator. Yeah. And I don't really typically see Gucci as a brand that does a lot of metal sunglasses. It tends to be more acetate, more yeah. plastic frames, yeah. doesn't it, generally? But this is actually a surprisingly good aviator. There's millions of aviators out there. I love the flat metal work on this one. I love how kind of smooth the metal is. Yeah. Very flat, as I say, very defined and very edgy. I like everything with this aviator. It's a very cool frame. And what's beautiful about that is, I think, again, it's that classic, iconic aviator frame shape. And, I mean, it looks amazing. Mm. Again, in different colourways, you can get it in more of the gunmetal grey or the silver, can you? depending on, yeah, the skin tones. It's amazing to contrast those two sunglasses against each other, isn't it? Oh, I mean, obviously, they're totally different. So different, but still using gold. Yep. In a really iconic way, I think. I mean, even more so now from two or three months ago when we did our last video, this trend is huge. And obviously it can come with or without, I appreciate. You can't get that frame without the chain. I think it would be a waste. I just Because I mean, it's rimless and it's quite minimalistic. The chain is, is part of the design. That's yeah. how I see it anyway. Yeah. Everyone is wearing the chain at the moment. It is just such... You can see the chain. Awesome. And guess what? We can make this in prescription. That goes for any of these sunglasses. Yeah. Most opticians, I think, would struggle with that to make that in... In prescription. They'd probably shy away from it. I'm yeah. not going to lie, they would probably shy away from it. But yeah, I mean, it's your iconic Gucci trademark, this, you know, with the chain. It's just, mm. it's such a pretty frame. And obviously when you're not wearing it. Really pretty. And not too yellow either in the gold. No. I think they got the shade of gold just right on that frame. Yeah. It's almost like a faded gold, which yeah. looks a little bit more vintage inspired. Yeah. And that's definitely what they're going for with that design, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I love it. I just absolutely love it. I think that's my favourite ladies sunglass that's on display here today. Yeah. Love that. It is, it is beautiful. Um, and you can get it in more of your, your square, slightly more oversized. Mm. You have to have the chain. Definitely. It just Do not buy that finishes, frame the chain. It just finishes the frame off. Sort of going back to my roots within fashion, we're seeing huge trends at the moment towards 70s. So again, it just it is such an on-trend piece, but I still think you can wear it in seasons to come because it's also a classic piece. 100%, yeah. So it's never really going to date, it's timeless either. Like this so. is timeless. Like an aviator, yeah. yeah. It's just so, classic. Yeah. And those high-end pieces are at the opposite end of the spectrum to the bio-based, aren't they? These are a bit more affordable, am I right? Yeah, so it's the Essential Collection. Can I try this one on? Yeah, absolutely. I love this one. The Essential Collection, and again, we've gone for it in that Havana. Mm. So again, it's just a little bit softer. It's not as harsh and heavy as maybe a black. But actually, this will look beautiful and does look beautiful in the black because it's not as heavy and oversized. Okay. I'm going to go for a new colourway that we've introduced. <laughs> oh, the purple. Purple. So slightly more upswept. Well, wh whilst I love the colour of this frame, which is obviously tortoise shell combined with a classic green lens, completely classic colour combination, that purple is so new. Yeah. So almost royal and elegant. Yeah. And I love that. But very, very wearable. And you can Very see... wearable. It's not too bright as a purple, no, is it? No, it's... I think it'll go with a lot of different skin tones, a lot of, you know, whether you're blonde, dark... I don't think your outfit has any purple in it that I can say. I mean, there's a lot of colour in that top, yeah, to be fair. There's a lot of colour in this top. But it's not but distinctly we've purple. We've got purple, we've got purple. <laughs> Despite you not wearing anything predominantly purple, yeah. That still works, doesn't yeah. it? Which shows how versatile that colourway is. You wouldn't expect that until you try it on. I don't know about yourself, Robert, but more and more people, when we're looking at frames, sunglasses, are being a little bit bolder with the colours. You're seeing on the catwalk, you're seeing these pops of yellows, you are seeing the purples, you are seeing mm. the bright whites. So it's kind of anything goes, but this is such a beautiful shade of purple. Do you know what's a lovely detail with that one, which is also on a few of these that we've not showed yet? is the gold and the temple. Yeah. There is a practical benefit of that, which is that the material here won't wear as much. You see with a lot of sunglasses over time that don't have this metal piece 
what the plastic will actually do over time is wear against itself as it's opened and closed. And that means the sunglasses start to stretch. And I think we've all had sunglasses where after a few years they're doing this. Having that reinforced metalwork is a premium detail that means that the sunglasses last longer and are functional for longer. Most sunglasses don't bother with something like that because it's something that the average person wouldn't necessarily appreciate. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's really good to see it in the Gucci collection and it shows that they're not just fashion sunglasses they are good quality sunglasses at the same time which is why i really like the collection but it's nice to see something different actually this lime green branding coming through we've never done that before lime green yeah oh it is isn't it i hadn't noticed that what a beautiful touch i love that and that purple looks tremendous on you honestly and you can also get in this oh this is white isn't it yeah but you can get it in the red Wow, okay, that's lovely. So again, just different little touches. And it is nice to see the different branding because we've seen before, I know you've been really successful with, slightly bigger, like what we call the running Gs. Mm. So it's nice to see them moving on and doing something different than just the classic running G or the classic horse bit. It feels like they'll never run out of ways to reinvent the Gucci logo. That's an example of the red, by the way. Love it, I'm going to try this one on. Can you try that one on? Which is definitely one of my favourite pieces. We were saying very Balenciaga S. Very we, Balenciaga. We've seen a lot of these narrow sunglasses coming back in. Yeah. I really wasn't convinced at first, but now I'm fully on board with it. If you see the likes of either Love or Hate, she's probably my mate, the likes of Kim Kardashian. If you look at um, Hayley Bieber, Justin Bieber, this is such a huge trend. It's a look, isn't it? It's, it's a, a look. real look It's at the a moment. statement piece. Whereas you've got these, yes, they are a look, but I think will never date. Yes, these make a statement, but the timeless classics. You know, what you were just wearing, Robert, they're very easy. They can, you know, cross over into That's season after season. Yeah. Whereas this is a little bit more edgy. It's a little bit cooler. Yeah. And it might be it's... gone in two or three years, but... Why not live in the moment and exactly. have something that is it's bang on trend? It's all about right now. And actually, again, I think it is quite an easy shape to wear. I think it's just a little bit different to what we used to. And it's not just a ladies, is it? Um, I'll try it on if you don't and mind. That's, yeah, unisex. This is unisex. I think this is a little bit too big for me, personally. So this is a slightly more oversized sunglass. If you've got a slightly bigger head, or if you want that really oversized look, I would probably suggest this model. Would you agree? Yeah. I think, Can to I be honest, it? absolutely. I think, to be honest, Robert, with any of our frames it's a case of gender neutral and that's one thing that i really admire about gucci you remind me of the new batman in those do i robert Robert pattinson Pattinson. yeah yeah i think you know gender neutral anything goes there's no right or wrong there's no that's what gucci is about it's about creating your own style being unique being different it's yeah Yeah. i mean it's such an on-trend shape what a note to end on i think that's a pretty good summary of the collection. I don't think we've missed anything. No, I think we've got everything. What what I would add is, Robert, you know, thank you again for inviting me back. I hope everyone's found it really helpful. If you have, leave a comment. A nice if you think one. I, <laughs> yeah, a nice only nice one. ones. If you think I look like Robert Pattinson in these sunglasses, also leave a comment. Or if you disagree, please tell us. No, I love that frame. <laughs> and, you know, if, if there is specific ranges that you'd like to see, you know, Please feel free to, to reach out to Robert. I can always come into, into the practice if you want any styling consultations or if you want any specific one-on-one advice with me, you know, please do feel free. I've said this to Robert, please reach out. Yeah, so something we're going to offer going forward, we've always offered personal style consultations, but now we have the lovely Natalie on board. She's happy to meet with clients. If you want a one-to-one style consultation with Natalie, who can show you the entire collection of Gucci eyewear, uh, get in touch. Leave a comment below or send me an email. Uh, I'll put my email in the description. And yeah, we'd love to welcome you to our store. We actually have clients from all over the UK. We have a partnership with a local luxury hotel where you can come and visit, stay overnight, enjoy a day with me and Natalie, choose your perfect eyewear and then travel back home. I think that's it for today's video. It is, yeah, and we'll... um, I've had a lot of fun. We have. I hope you enjoy the summer. I hope you get the best sunglass for yourselves, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in fall, winter for our new collection. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks for inviting me, Robert. See you soon, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.
Perfect. Well done. Look at this, we're pros, aren't we? We're smashing it now.